NLU-based chatbots are dead. At least that's what you may have heard. Every new development in generative AI seems to outshine the last, and while I agree that one day they will be relegated to the annals of AI history, I don't think it's time to start writing their eulogy yet. Hey, it's Pete. Today we're going to answer the question, are NLUs dead? And to work this out, we're going to pit them up against their more glamorous cousin, the LLM. Okay, let's start with NLU-based systems. What do they do well? Well, NLU-based systems work by interpreting spoken phrases or utterances to understand what action or command the user wants to do. When someone speaks a sentence, the system breaks it down into words and phrases. It then examines how these words or phrases relate to each other, focusing on their grammatical structure. The key part is how the system interprets the meaning of each word in the context of the entire sentence. This helps it figure out the main intent of what's being said, like whether the user is making a request or just asking a question. NLU-based systems are also generally rules-based, meaning they're far easier to integrate with external systems to perform actions like, I don't know, processing a refund or tracking an order. But, and this is a pretty big but, NLUs are about as good as the people training them. And if you don't have a team of conversation designers, bot trainers, data scientists and the like, they're prone to, well, being a bit shit. Okay, now let's have a look at how LLMs work. Large language models operate by analyzing and imitating patterns from an extensive amount of text data, i.e. the entire written web. When you input a sentence or question, the model's response isn't based on a genuine understanding of the words or concepts in a human sense, it instead is based on recognizing patterns it has learned during its training. Because its responses are based on the statistical likelihood of a sequence of words, an LLM is extremely good at creating dynamic and coherent responses. But this is a double-edged sword. LLMs are prone to hallucinations because the model is generating what it deems to be most probable rather than accurate. Okay, so let's recap. NLU-based systems are great at understanding a user's intent when they're trained well, and connecting to external systems, but they require a team to keep them relevant. Whereas LLMs are fantastic at generating content dynamically, but they can struggle with hallucinations. So really, what LLMs do well and what NLUs do well actually kind of complement each other. So instead of ringing your bring out your dead bell, maybe we should start looking at how they can work together. And off the top of my head, here are a few ideas. We talked about this last episode, but an obvious one is using LLMs with retrieval augmented generation for FAQs and NLUs for more structured tasks. You could also use an NLU to handle the understanding and use an LLM to generate the intense content. For example, you might have an ordering assistant at a burger restaurant and the user asks for a bucket of chicken, but your burger restaurant doesn't sell a bucket of chicken because your intent triggers a prompt with the menu showcasing everything the restaurant sells rather than a decision tree of canned responses. You can inform the user that you don't sell buckets of chicken, but you could offer say a fried chicken sandwich instead. And doing something like this reduces the chance of hallucinations considerably because people only see this response if they hit that intent. Another good use case is to condense long utterances into shorter ones, allowing for better intent matching. And when it comes to reporting on what customers are saying, you could use an LLM to create summaries of conversations and show where conversations have gone off the rails. Similarly, you could maybe even use a hybrid approach where the NLU surfaces multiple different intents and then you get the LLM to pick the one which seems most correct. And finally, LLMs also do a pretty good job at real-time translation, meaning you can take what the customer has said and translate it to the language your NLU is trained on and then try match it to an intent from there. So to answer the question, do we need NLU engines still? Drum roll. <laughs> For now, I think the answer is yes. At the moment, NLU models are far better at matching a user's intent and will continue to be very important for mission critical tasks. Will they be the best option forever? Probably not. But you can't stop the development of your company's assistant while you wait for the technology to improve. So what does this mean for conversational AI teams? Well, if you start using this hybrid approach, I think building assistance becomes less about focusing on each word and turn of the conversation and more around creating scaffolding that holds your agent up. 
This way, we can start to build agents that are flexible, allowing them to move and respond with the customer and not the other way around. Okay, that's my take on the NLU versus LLM debate. Now let me know yours in the comments. And remember, stay curious. Thank you.